All right, what episode is it? Uh, 131. All right, welcome to episode 131, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the official podcast, the only podcast that has a ton of ripoffs out there. We're the original podcast, of course, the one. If we were in 2001, A Space Odyssey, we would be the monolith that all the chimps gather around and then they become civilized. That is our podcast. So before we started recording, we started talking about the all the little tech conferences that are happening and are about to happen. Did you guys see that Apple is now selling a computer, a monitor stand for a thousand dollars? Yeah, I did. Yep. <laughs> I can't wait to get it. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna get two. I look. I never. I was never on the bandwagon of hating Apple or whatever because I use an Android Samsung phone. But whenever somebody hands me an iPhone to look at something or whatever, I, I still understand that it's a really good product, and I kind of get why people use it the max but how i don't know how these guys are now gonna justify them to themselves to buy a ten dollar piece of metal for 999 dollars <laughs> yeah does it have the apple logo on it yeah, yeah I, I just guess. looked I, I looked it up it doesn't even come like as an actual stand it's like a collector's piece or something oh yeah also the uh, base <laughs> stand the one that Hi, everyone listening without being in the podcast. I'm sick and my throat sucks shit right now. But also, apparently, the base stand is $250. So if you... If so wait, you, what's, uh, this, what's this $999 stand? Is it is it Steve Jobs' personal stand that he designed before he died? Yeah, like a really flashy, what, what, fancy one. I, how, how fancy can a stand get, though? That's what I'm not really understanding. Yeah, how, can, it do? how can a... Let's, Does it have a stereo in it or something? Let's go a like, step back. How can a basic stand cost $250? <laughs> I think <laughs> That's a good it would point. be cheaper to actually buy a 3D printer and print a stand out of solid metal yourself. I mean, $1,000, you could buy a pretty decent PC for that. You could <laughs> yeah, buy a new Mac. Just a stand. You could buy a, a new Mac. <laughs> I don't even need a stand. That's amazing. Man. Oh, we're gonna get grilled in the comments section by limp dicked Apple enthusiasts. Oh, you guys just don't understand why it's worth a thousand dollars. It's Apple, for God's sakes. I don't know. Like oh I said, I, I don't see how even Apple, like loyal Apple users, I don't want to call them fanboys or anything, but if you defend this, you kind of are at this point. A thousand dollars stand, it unless you're one of those really, really rich kids who just spend five thousand dollars on a ticket to the fire fest. And you're an idiot and you have too much money you have more money than you have brain cells i don't know why you would ever buy a stand for that much that's <laughs> bonkers yeah it is absolutely fucking nuts man but, but it's it not just it's it's not just that though right the actual uh apple at uh, the mac pro comes to around like 12 grand on its own like with the with the screen and the the computer it's like 12 grand isn't it yeah, I think so. I don't know its specs. I don't really know if it's worth it. I haven't looked into it. I just, I saw the news about the $1,000 stand and I, at first I thought it was a meme or something like, ah, there they go, making fun of Apple again for selling overpriced bullshit. But then I realized, wait a minute, that's not a Photoshop. This is in the video. Apple tweeted this. What is going on? <laughs> They're shameless about it. It's fucking crazy. They really are. Oh, they've always been shameless about it. I went on the Apple subreddit and they're, they're actually fervently defending it. <laughs> this is oh, nuts. Jesus. I can't Same believe one. these brainwashed <laughs> zombies. Think about it this way. Think about like a big video game launch like Red Dead Redemption or something. For what, 300 bucks, you get like a big collectible bust and a, and a memorabilia book, an art book and like all this cool stuff. But with Apple, for a thousand dollars, you get a tiny little stand. You get something to stick your six thousand dollar screen on. I know. I, I, it doesn't even look that sturdy. It looks so Wait, flimsy. So I wouldn't trust it. I want to know, Charlie, what are they saying? How is there? What's the defense here? Okay, well, this comes from a uh, Apple enthusiast, Guilty Dog. From the presentation, <laughs> it is very clear that they are targeting people who are currently buying or looking to buy studio reference monitors that range from twenty to forty k. If you don't use one of these, this isn't for you. Oh, you what? should okay. stick to the LG Ultrafine or whatever that's available at Best Buy. Ha! Huh. Oh, he's however, defending the monitor, <laughs> not the stand, though. Yeah, no, he's exactly. defending. This is all about the stand. Oh, he's okay. saying the stand is not intended for you because you can't afford the high end. Yeah, Apple equipment. I was going to say. So it's only that, for rich people. That's a terrible yeah. argument. What he's saying is you should buy the stand if you can afford to buy the stand. Well, no, he goes he goes deeper. If, however, you are in the market for these types of displays, Apple just potentially saved you over sixteen thousand dollars per display and stand. 
If you're buying what? these type of displays, how, how is that possible? I don't, I don't know where his math's coming from. I don't know. <laughs> He's working on the inside from Apple. There's no telling. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know what this math is, where he's getting his numbers from. That stand, bro, <laughs> a thousand bucks in long term? I'm saving money here. Like, I'm stealing from <laughs> Apple, really. What, does he buy a new stand every two months or something? <laughs> I couldn't what tell happens? you. What happens to his stands? He's it's got a, a stand collection. It's Apple too. You just know that things gonna break and then they're gonna ignore the problem and tell users that it was their misuse of the stand or something for trying to angle it too high. So what How much do? does the warranty cost for the stand? Oh $16,000 probably. You're right, there's the warranty too. Not only do you have to pay for that piece of shit, you have to pay for the guarantee too, I'm sure. Wow. Insurance on it. Fuck, Apple is amazing. No wonder they were the first company to what, break a trillion dollars in worth. Yeah, they're the highest revenue value company right now in the world. Yeah. My yeah. God. They're basically more like a luxury brand at this point, though. Like, they're to oh, absolutely. attack what, they, what Supreme is to clothing. Like, Supreme yeah. sells bricks for $1,000. <laughs> Nobody bats an eye. I mean, I mean, yeah. Charlie, we were talking about this at the gym uh, like a month ago where just everyone had AirPods yeah. and it was just it's just a fucking status symbol by this point. Mm -hmm. Soon they'll be taking their Apple stands into the gym just to set them down, <laughs> just to put their weights on them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a status symbol. Every hipster in Starbucks walking around with their stand strapped to their backs. Yeah. Like, like oh, some scene out of Death it. Stranding. Guarantee that's gonna happen. Something like that. Guaranteed. fucking teed. It's so stupid, too, because for the same price, you could get a really high end computer. Yeah, for but that, does, not that doesn't Apple. give you status. Like, I can't get laid because I have a high end computer, but if I have a thousand dollar stand in my backpack, I could probably Man, get some mad pussy. Bro, as don't an Apple say fan. that, dude. Why, my why gamer can't we rig? change it? Mm. Gets all the panties dropping. <laughs> they come in here, I'm like, dude. Girl, let me set the mood, and I put on my RGB lighting. I turn off the blue and the green, yeah. and it's just reddish. Ooh. I would, I would love to live in that universe, man. I, I would love for girls to be like, "Oh my god, is that a, is that a G force?" <laughs> yeah, no shit. Wow. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. I'd be the fucking king. I love for girls to love my flaws as well. Like Kaya, you, like you don't shave any hair on your body. You're an alcoholic. Wow, that is so hot. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> it's so attractive how you drink nine beers and then pass out. <laughs> it's the hottest thing anyone's ever done for me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that would Do be a nice now. world, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, that'd be great. It'd be fucking great. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, it doesn't... It's kind of... I don't know. It's weird how... we. You can make fun of it, but... It, it's not exactly that much different when it's men buying expensive cars to impress women, right? We're still like those birds that adorn their nests mm, with shiny mm -hmm. wrappers and such to impress the female birds, right? So why does a car work, but my Razer gaming chair with liquid cooled ass cushions doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, that's a good question I, yeah I, it really is a good question i think everyone's kind of like that to some level i think we've all got things that we like to to show off like charlie with his speed running he does that <laughs> primarily just to mm -hmm. uh, impress women oh yeah andrew with his magic cards or whatever <laughs> that's right with his chest hair that's, as he said that's exactly we've why i started it. what do you I, impress I, women with your porn <laughs> my porn game. <laughs> His porn game. <laughs> porn game. I have an Oculus Quest. You can put it on and watch it too. Want to try? <laughs> Ew, I don't want to fuck you. My Oculus Quest comes with flame decals on the side, babe. <laughs> Jackson, I have a question for you. So you 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 are on a podcast where we talk about dick mm -hmm. jokes and masturbation and God knows what. And then in your spare time, you are making a porn game. If if you hit the dating scene, what the fuck are you going to tell people you do for work? Unemployed. I stay in my room all day. Don't disturb me. I'm an entertainer. Don't ever come in. I'm a broadcaster yeah, sure. and a video game developer. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. I like that. I do like that, actually. That's official as shit, yeah. And then, then they'll ask, can I see your game? And I'll say, no, it's just for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a, and I'll retreat game. back into my room. <laughs> it's adult entertainment. You gotta know the lingo, bro. Come on. 
you, you <laughs> scurry out of the bar. No, it's mine. <laughs> you, you can't see it, but uh, you can be in it if you want. Ooh, yeah. Let me three D scan that I body. If that would work. <laughs> God, that's some next level shit. Oh, shit, I, was, I forgot what I was gonna say. God, I just I wonder how long until your game makes it to reset era and they bitch about how offensive our podcast is and you're associated with us. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna go back years. You're gonna have to kick me out of the podcast just because I made a porn game. Well, no. Yeah. I I'm gonna tell them to kill themselves, but that's not the point. It's like, how long <laughs> until they have a little petition on change.org to have you kicked off a of Steam or something? Well, there's there's far more pornographic games on Steam. Like, did you see the newest yeah. one that came out? Fuck Stalin, where you oh, just have not, sex no, no, with no. Joseph Stalin. The it's pornography isn't the one. problem. It's uh, that we... I bought it when it came out. It's that we cuss and Jackson is on a show with us or rather he's in a photo with us. They're going to go back years and years, 10 years back to see embarrassing tweets that Jackson liked just to embarrass him publicly. I don't think they're going to really care about some losers pornographic parody game that he made in his spare time. <laughs> it's think... Reset Era. Oh, of course they care. I guess we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. They they can have free copies if they want. If it makes them feel any oh, better. Oh, motherfucker. I really just want us to be involved in a controversy, but they, ugh, my God, it's, the best we can do apparently is that some people just don't get a joke and they think that we're serious about making fun of the misfits for ripping us off or something. We need a legitimate controversy where... Well, Charlie, are you famous yet where you can have, like, the taller they are, <laughs> wow. the farther they can fall? Uh, probably not to that level, I doubt. I don't know. Like, are you Wall Street Journal article worthy yet? Could you drop the N-word on your stream just to try? <laughs> yeah, I'll test, the, test waters. the waters a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can blacklist ourselves with Disney. Perfect. Just what we needed. I did, however, hear... I heard we got a topic on Reset Era yesterday. We did? I, yeah, I forgot to look it up, though. Who? All of us? The podcast, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, someone God, during the stream said they, Someone on the stream last night said that they made a thread about us there, but this website's so fucking garbage, I can't navigate it to find it. That's why you gotta use Google. What is Reset Era? I thought I thought it was a, um, a game journalist site, is it not? No, yeah, it's, it's more of a forum. <laughs> no. Jur journalism is in, in many, as many quotation marks as you can put it in. I thought it was a website of integrity. Was I wrong? Mm, yes. yes. Jackson, do you know that? <laughs> look, you know specifically that YouTube and Reddit are the worst places on the internet to get any commentary, right? But of those people, about 1% of them have so much time on their hands that they can crawl through your old tweets to find offensive shit, right? You know, those people... Yes. This is their website. Mm -hmm. This is all they fucking do. They get offended by shit. Uh, I only see somebody mentioning us as a podcast that they like, Charlie. Really? Oh, oh maybe no. maybe it was the well, opposite. Liked by those people? Yeah. Is that bad? Well, you just said that they were all lunatics. Why are we liked by them? Well, okay. So the <laughs> so the the member who recommended us was banned. Uh, <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> the official podcast alarm went off in an auto band. <laughs> so, uh, the topic is what are your favorite podcasts? And he said, 332 pages will never get back. The Dick Show, shout out to Dick. Uh, the official podcast, bunch of guys, most famously Penguin Zero, just talking general stuff, sword and scale crime podcast, yada da. And I also pick up Joe Rogan. Ooh, we can't drop the JR word, bro. That name is... That's a no-no guy. Of course yeah, he was bad. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's the only place I'm finding us reference to. Yeah. Maybe maybe it was just talking to that about that. Maybe, where they maybe, the it was, uh, maybe it was deleted instantly after it went up because it was too offensive to talk about us. The reset era super agents killed the man. <laughs> I, maybe if we looked up critical instead and maybe they're angry at you for associating with us maybe i'm not sure it just it was only one person during the stream last night who wanted my opinion on it as if i knew what reset era fucking frothing mouth lunatics were talking about <sighs> dang yeah i don't see anything about us that's a shame if you're listening to this feel free to head over to reset era make an account and talk about us and get banned immediately <laughs> <laughs> 
Why do you even make a reset error account? Don't you need to go through like verification that you are like a radicalized weirdo or something? <laughs> you have to be know. invited in. <laughs> yeah, it's like an exclusive club of maniacs from what I've seen. Really? I don't know. I've never tried to sign up yeah. for it or anything. I just treat it like a shit museum where I admire the arts, <laughs> but I don't want to touch any of it or be part of it. Yeah, it's fucking wild, man. That place is nuts. Some of the best headlines I've seen over the years come from that forum. Give me some examples. The one I gave last time still my favorite, where someone made like a meltdown post about why Nintendo's an awful company for choosing Piranha Plant over a <laughs> yeah. strong women woman in Smash Bros. <laughs> Wait, that was real? I yeah, thought I was making a joke. Jesus no, Christ. No, 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 no that was my topic. real. I was... Yeah, I wasn't it's making a joke. Good joke, Kyle. I'm, no, I'm not kidding. It's not even... I hate this so much now that this shit is... You can't even make satire of it anymore, unfortunately. No matter what no, the joke is. Stupid. Like, t 10 years ago, I could have said, hey, you know, imagine a nerd going through a video game trailer and counting the percentage of female characters to male characters talking and making a tweet about it. That's the reality we live in now. That will actually get people riled up about the fucking Captain Marvel trailer. And people counting her words, which apparently now there's another controversy with disney copyright striking any video that is critical <laughs> yeah. of captain marvel yeah that is oh jesus that's pretty uh yeah. that's pretty brazen have you heard that this I think it's heroic it. it's heroic heroic of disney or heroic of heroic They're of justice standing up for brie know. larson's horrible acting I, well I, you just got our podcast blacklisted from disney yeah. nice yeah we're gonna be taking off <laughs> itunes tomorrow thanks i Jackson. love brie yeah, larson <laughs> we're never going to be on disney plus at this rate that was yeah. jackson's own thoughts not the podcast yeah, yeah. jesus copy strike my game boycott his game not our <laughs> podcast we are very pro captain marvel i don't know my, lesson. My i didn't mean it mr mouse <laughs> uh, yeah, direct all of your hate to jackson's game not us <laughs> <laughs> review bomb it they're gonna take me to court immediately so <laughs> it's not even their property that I'm paradising. No, man, we're people know we're just kidding. My my favorite character is women. Any. Mm. All of them. Doesn't the reason I'm so short is so that way I can look women in the eyes to respect them better, actually. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's so mm -hmm. cute. The I, only reason I don't share my modified Oculus Quest with my girlfriend is so I can look her in the eyes at all times. <laughs> Not because yucky girls and I don't want her touching Ooh, my toys. Jokes jokes on you there, Kaya. The Oculus Quest has video out as well, so you can see while you're playing it, so you don't run into stuff. <gasps> so take that. Andrew's always in his quest now. Yeah, I'm wearing He's it right. Outside. I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> he hasn't seen his girlfriend in a week. <laughs> not directly, I haven't seen not with his own eyes. eyes. <laughs> yeah, through the <laughs> Oculus Quest. <laughs> Only through proxy where he lifts up the game and like regular VR glasses yeah. here. And then and then I make her an anime girl in the quest. And my life is perfect. You have a permanent and Snapchat it, filter on her face, <laughs> with a dog <laughs> tongue coming out of her mouth. All you're just getting a blowjob. No, no, baby, this is this is just you know, it's not a fetish or anything. It's, it's just so it's stuck on my head. I can't get it off. Yeah, and by that I mean I don't want to take it off. Keep going. Uh, okay, what ahead. do you mean I have a girlfriend? Where's this? Uh, that's where this food's coming from every hour. Jeez. <laughs> Wait, you're still here? I have, I have the quest now. You can leave. Well, you need refreshments every hour, Jackson. Like, how, how long yeah. do you think a Mountain Dew remains cold? <laughs> <laughs> Takes one sip and then empties it to get a new one. <laughs> it's flat. <laughs> oh, shit. If I was a rich gamer, why not? That uh, that fashion mogul who died recently, Karl, Karl Lagerfeld, he... Rumor has it. Oh, fuck was that? <laughs> Carl it was Cal Lagerfeld. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to pronounce in German, but it's Karl Lagerfeld. Do you know? Do you guys know him? He's the guy with the glasses who dresses like a. I don't know. He just dresses really weirdly. Uh, if you've ever seen a it's fashion, like everyone in the fashion industry. Yeah, exactly. So when you see somebody in a movie who is a fashion artist, uh, kingpin or whatever, they're usually modeled after him because he was he used to be such a goofy guy. Not goofy, but, you know, had his own look. Rumor has it that he had a butler carrying room temperature cola behind him at all times. That's what I need. Mm. Except beer. Why room temperature? Yeah, that's awful. That's the worst. I, well, because I that's when it flattens out. Yeah. 
I like it room temperature. Why would you want that? Flat soda is like, yeah, flat soda is like awful. Why yeah, flat? that's just Anyone sugar like flat water. Soda? No, not flat, it's just not cold or warm. Just room temperature. Mm. Yeah, but why? I used to like that when I was a kid. I haven't had a soda since I was a child, but I used to prefer them room temperature because if they were overly Do cold, you... they were really bubbly and stuff. Do you think if you tried a soda now, you might enjoy it? I mean, I do enjoy it when there's vodka in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's Can't that's everyone. Everyone enjoys yeah. enjoys that. Mm -hmm. Alcohol's one of the coolest beverages because the more you drink of it, the better it tastes. Speaking of taste, though, if you want something that tastes good, no matter how drunk or how fucked up you are, Blue Apron's got you covered, right, Andrew? Blue Apron, you know what they do? They send you the recipe and they send you the ingredients to your doorstep so you don't have to go out and, you know, stand in, in the produce aisle going, oh, what is all this stuff? Like, what's the difference between a lime and a, and a lemon? What, what do I do here? What, what am I supposed to buy so I can make my girlfriend and my friends and my mom and my dad some nice yummy dinner? You don't have to worry about that. You sign up at blueapron.com slash official and you get all the ingredients, you get the recipe and you get the guarantee that you're gonna be able to prepare it in 40 minutes or less so you get everything all inclusive plus you get to learn how to cook so you know you get the ingredients in the correct portions you don't even have to uh, you know mess around with how much rice do i need to put into this and all that sort of stuff uh this is a better way to cook don't bother going around and getting shafted by the grocery store on ridiculous bio-organic ingredients and that nonsense just get your stuff delivered to your doorstep blueapron.com slash official they have that well now i'm hungry fuck me uh seared chicken and creamy lime sauce uh spiced fish and avocado tacos what's this i have my gamer drink in front of the screen sorry pesto and tomato quiche is that how you say it quiche okay i don't know what it is but there you go you can buy Blue Apron and learn how to make it. Blueapron.com slash official. Thank you for sponsoring us. Blueapron.com slash official. This check out this week's menu for $60 off, baby. Mm -hmm. Blueapron.com slash official. A better way to cook. Yes. What were we talking about? Blue Apron. <laughs> Before <laughs> what that. We're talking about uh, uh, soda. alcohol and uh, soda, yeah. Jeff Jeffrey Lagenfort had soda behind him. What? <laughs> The, you were talk, the fashion designer. Oh. Who was he? he got to his point. Yeah, yeah. He got to his point though about how how he he liked he soda room temperature or whatever. I think that's what his point was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, kind of Good butchered point, the name yeah. there. <laughs> it was yeah, Jiminy you know Cricket Felt or whatever? But yeah, I, I get I get his point, and also I agree. Uh, if I was him and if I was as rich and I was around. <laughs> young hotties all day i would also add a little dash of vodka to my room temperature cola <laughs> always be in a good mood god that's got to be the life man imagine being a 60 year old man all you see every day is good looking people and you have as much you can drink as much as you want it doesn't even matter what you do at that point right even if he spirals out of control just starts vomiting onto the catwalk what's gonna happen he's a millionaire <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Rest in peace. If he keeps vomiting on the catwalk, they're probably going to get rid of him, though, and not allow him to the events anymore, so he can't yeah. look at attractive ladies. And then he won't make his millions. Hmm. Good there's, point. There's a, you got to remember, there's a certain limit to not giving a shit of being a celebrity. Like, you definitely get a free pass on a lot of stuff, but if you keep doing that stuff and not in a way that focuses your brand, you're not going to get paid that money anymore. Yeah, but... If you have enough saved up, you can get away well, with yeah. it. Just like Charlie Sheen, who used to have these mm -hmm. gigantic porn star orgies in his house and do coke. And, uh, you know, he did end up getting HIV, but who gives a shit when you're that rich and you can afford the medication that basically just makes it go away anyway. Charlie Sheen, please come on the show, not to defend yourself, but because I admire you as a man. <laughs> come on That's the show to talk about life. To talk about all the cool stuff you've done. Yeah. Tell us some nice stories. He's, is he still alive? I thought he passed away. No, oh, he's, he's still alive. alive. He's still winning with his yeah. tiger blood or whatever he's by winning. Remember that song with the autotune? It yeah. it was amazing because back in the day I used to watch Two and a Half Men and his character in the show was also called Charlie and I, I don't know. I forget what he does, but his character is this rich playboy who just fucks women all day and he's drunk all day in a beach house 
but then I found out who the actor really is. And I, it's funny when you realize that the actor is more out of control than the character he's playing in a TV show. So my respect to Mr. Charlie Sheen. Amazing. <laughs> my respect for just completely going off the deep end, <laughs> losing, losing all sanity. <laughs> I have a banger. This is fresh off the presses. The UN is attempting to ban uh, minors in anime. The depiction of minors in anime. Your thoughts? The United Nations? They don't hold yeah, much the US, sway. Yeah, all of them together? United States, what? Australia, and Japan are against the protocol banning the minors of uh, depiction of minors in anime, but there is a movement to get it banned from anime. Wait, Australia? Is this the thing that splits up the UN? This might be. I mean, liter literally nothing's going to happen with it because Japan already gets around that. They draw a little girl and go, oh, she's actually a thousand year old mm -hmm. demon. It cannot resemble a minor. Then they'll just say she resembles an adult demon. I don't know. The UN is not a... They don't actually get to pass laws to countries. They can only... Oh, I know. Just, oh, yeah, this they is don't. condemned. They can wag their fingers like an angry mom. Like, mm -mm -mm, no, we don't like this. No. That, yeah, like Japan's gonna have to fucking sink their GDP to down to 1%. What the fuck else does Japan <laughs> export besides child porn? <laughs> <laughs> so it's anime export. and lolly you just don't understand <laughs> japan's full gdp comes from hentai and lolly i love that <laughs> that's such a funny idea dude andrew you were thinking about going there here i remember you were oh, sitting in course, the car going course. someplace and your first thought was i'm gonna grab a big trash bag and fill it with lolly con what's up oh there? yeah <laughs> <laughs> That, I, I, did, I definitely mentioned that when like I a burglar back, I, with I like definitely one of those hand burglars just a bag full of cash but it's oh, anti yeah. handbooks oh yeah I, I mentioned I, I want to go to Japan and one of the things I want to do there is just go to the seediest most disgusting hentai store on the planet and buy <laughs> the worst things I can find <laughs> absolutely mm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I just want to see how dark I can get <laughs> I don't think you do, Andrew. I, I think at some point, some guy in a trench coat is going to open up his trench coat and go, you want to buy some actual kitty porn? I <laughs> see <laughs> so you hit up my... Or you hit that up might my be shop. a fun show, though. Like, you what? know those uh, shows where people go to antique shops and have a lot of... Oh, children? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> but, like, going to seedy Japanese hentai clubs or stores or whatever and searching through them like it yeah it would that's be exactly an shop. that's exactly Ooh. what i want to do i want to like there's a bunch of people on youtube they make those stupid vlogs where they're like i'm in japan or i'm in a foreign country and we're gonna we're gonna go to the convenience store or we're gonna we're gonna go to this antique shop i want to be the guy who's like i'm in the porn shop in japan and i want to find the worst hentai i can that's, let's go see, that's actually a good point because whenever somebody goes to a foreign country they always go with the cliche boring stereotypical shit exactly like yeah the vlogger goes to japan and then they walk into a grocery store and they're like oh look at this it's squid flavor chips what no we've never heard of this before who cares show us something funny exactly. you could do that I, that's why, a, yeah I show, mean, let me, show us a dead body in suicide forest like give me give me some <laughs> like, say what you want it was unique like give me <laughs> give me some credit here japan is literally above every other nation known for its fucked up and weird pornography so why why not try to share the the worst of the worst of what they got with the world <laughs> yeah i think share. that'd be fun uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just for laughs, <laughs> uh -huh. there was a video from a vlogger who went to japan a couple months ago and it was very different so it started like a normal vlog and then it showed him like doing cocaine off prostitutes and stuff in japan <laughs> and like having orgies and everything it was really a cool video you should do that but with hentai so yeah. then you snort coke and read hentai <laughs> furiously <laughs> just him in a dim apartment <laughs> yeah it's me in a love hotel <laughs> anti magazine in front of him. i rented a love hotel for just me and i'm in it reading porn no, not just for you you should go there with your girlfriend and uh, like go up to the clerk be like yeah our relationship is getting a little stale is there any hentai you could recommend to spice things up and then do you have just... any hentai <laughs> go ahead <laughs> no, i was gonna say just uh, see what every clerk recommends to you and your uh, girlfriend. I was I was gonna go up and say, do you have any hentai where the girl looks like her? And just point to my <laughs> girlfriend. But isn't her? Our backroom artist can draw her up in something. <laughs> How old is Ooh. she? Twelve. 
I wonder, <laughs> do, do, Jap do the Japanese <laughs> have like, you, you guys know those street artists where you can sit down and have a, have a caricature done of yourself? Yeah. Do the Japanese uh -huh. have yeah. that, but with like Lollicon where they draw you as a 13 year old getting fucked up the ass <laughs> by tentacles? Yeah, Andrew's going to have to tell us. When he yeah, because I'm the expert on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not right now, but you can be. Oh, I will be. You will be. I will be. I mean, you will I'll, be I'll educated. make a full... I'll make a full report. I'll do. I'll do some sleuthing. I'll ask around town. You'll wake I'll, up. I'll wait. I'll, uh, I'll. I'm learning. I'm starting Duolingo right now to learn like just conversational <laughs> Japanese to get around. I'll. Uh, I'll make. I'll make sure to learn the phrase. Where is the hentai artist? Yeah, donde esta yeah. hentai? Point me to <laughs> the lolly artist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, in Spanish that'll be helpful. I'm pretty sure everyone in Japan's like classically trained to be a hentai artist. Arigato, uh, nani. <laughs> The where the kids, Kaya, you do, Kaya, you just said thank you. What the kids? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Duolingo. <laughs> <laughs> He's fluent. <laughs> it's all I need. It's all the words. <laughs> yeah, now I'm getting excited. I just want to. I just want to find all this. Back alley garbage. I really want to go Popping to Japan. a tent. Same. I, I mean, this sounds like fun to me. Just just walking around Japan streets going, excuse me, where is the hentai? <laughs> You're going to be locked up on your first day. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there must be so many weeb tourists at this point that they have. Oh, Probably absolutely. street signs showing the way to the nearest hentai shop. <laughs> In every language. In case of emergency, follow this direction. <laughs> Little neon signs on the ground that light up in the dark in case the lights go out or something, leading you to Lollicon. There's a, uh, there's a section of Japan, I'm butchering the name, I think it's called Akihara or Akihabara, something like that. It's, it's literally just a complete congregation and mishmash of, hey, look, here's all of our anime and video games and hentai and all this shit, and it's just where all the tourists go. They they have a literal containment zone already, a quarantine. <laughs> it's like a Chernobyl. Yeah, yeah, you have to stray from the standard path though to find the real golden nuggets. Oh, I wanna I wanna stray for sure. I wanna do the thing where I go to a bar and everyone sees a big white man and I start bench pressing Japanese businessmen. That's one of my dreams. Mm -hmm. Have you heard those stories? Uh, I don't think so. It happens. So th they like. The, there's a whole thing in Japan where Japanese business people want white people in their businesses because it makes them look more attractive to everyone else. So in, in their bars, a lot of the time they'll try to get like big white dudes to come in. And then the Japanese businessmen are like, well, you're so big and tall. Can you like lift me up? <laughs> and like you'll just get free drinks by picking up Japanese businessmen. And that's it. So but what if that that's to just to me. a myth and you walk in there and it's a big buff fat sumo wrestler looking at you, calling you out, going like, come at me, white boy, and just folds you like origami. <laughs> Is that Japanese or Chinese uh, origami? Uh, origami's Japanese. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah. I, I, well, then I guess I've learned the ways of Japan by that point. <laughs> the, old, the old, you're expected to have a nice time at a business and there's actually a, a surprise sumo wrestler ready to fuck you. Happens <laughs> all the time. They have a word for it. Yeah, it's uh, Yakuza Zero. <laughs> <laughs> they call it a sumo surprise. Mm. More like Ori Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. I apologize. That was worse than the $1,000 no, was... <laughs> stand. <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was worth the price of admission for me. I like that. <laughs> oh, Fuck. God. Shit, that was some low-hanging fruit. It's okay. It was tasty fruit all the same. That was yeah, my Sometimes topic. you just have to take it. Yeah. Yep, your turn, Kaya. What else you got for us? Um, let's see if I still have the tab open. So, <laughs> the you Americans are so fucking goofy. I mean, talking about different cultures, your fossil, your Department of Energy has now rebranded fossil fuels as molecules of freedom, and natural gas is freedom <laughs> gas. <laughs> This is an official Wait, release. <laughs> Wait, what? No. This is an official release. I'm not pulling this out of my ass. This is on energy.gov. Freedom gas? Yes, it says. So this is the official press release. Oh my uh, God. With the US in another year of record setting natural gas production, I am pleased that the Department of Energy is doing what it can to promote an efficient regulatory system that allows for molecules of US freedom to be exported to the world. <laughs> 
<laughs> Set That's assistant amazing. secretary, fossil energy, uh, Stephen Winberg, I guess his name is. Wait, so wow. are they referring to all natural gas as freedom gas now, or is it just a like a? Are they referring to a product here that they export? No, no, no. It's only American gas is freedom gas. Yeah, everything so, else is just bad. Yeah, specifically, it, specifically, gas. natural gas exports from the United States are referred to as freedom gas. Apparent. I don't know about is, that, but he is here's the rest new? of the quote. It says, "Increasing export capacity from the Freeport LNG project is critical to spreading freedom gas throughout the world by giving America's allies a diverse and affordable source of clean energy." <laughs> I want some freedom gas, man, and freedom molecules. I'll take any. <laughs> That's awesome. I want freedom atoms and nuclei. <laughs> that I mean, it, this this just fucking sounds like propaganda. Like, oh, yeah, you really does. you want yeah. our American gas, our molecules of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if any it Japanese like, people like want to come to America just looking for the freedom molecules and gas. Like, yeah, I heard it sounds like something that you can... make in Sims. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it just sounds so outlandish. Yeah. I, it's I, hard to believe that this is like an actual press release coming from a, a department <laughs> within the United States government. It, yeah. It sounds so comical. It does, but it is. You can look it up on energy.gov. I don't fucking know. Just Google it. It's on the page. Ah, good shit, man. Oh, let's That's see. awesome. So now, so, so now the US is exporting freedom. Yeah. Well, they always have. Mm -hmm. In the form of mother of all bombs and whatnot. Boy, what other bangers do you have? That was eye-opening. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of disheveled here. Uh... Some video game developer apparently talked kind of a little bit of shit about the indie game developer community. The the guy who made Braid and The Witness. Do you guys know those games? Oh, he's John, he's a Jonathan pretentious Blow? fuck. Yeah, guy, he's, what? he's always been a he's always been full of himself. So what did he do? You know about this, Andrew? I, because I'm not. I really don't know sure. about this story, but I know in the past he's been interviewed a lot and that, and he's just always been like a fucking hipster guy. Uh, okay. Well, everybody's angry at him. I, I I didn't do research on this. I don't know why the fuck I brought it up as a topic. I'm sorry. What do you guys have? I have about <laughs> like 60 clips of voicemails, but I, I, I think it's a little too soon quite yet. So mm. what are the voicemails this week? Uh, dude, I don't even know. I, I clipped these the moment the Who's Right fellas released the episode and that was like a week ago. And I don't remember what half of these are. We could get into them if you want. Some of them are about anime. Uh, yeah, we we Jesus so we're Christ. forty minutes in. If we factor in the game and the things we like, I think the voicemails now is a pretty good time actually to start. Oh my fucking god, this is so long. Um, okay, stall for like five minutes so I can get an overview of what the fuck I even did here. It's sixty clips. I need to index this in my head, please. Jackson, Charlie, I'm did thinking you, of a number yeah. one to two. Wait, a number between what? One and two. Two. Jackson, uh, you're both wrong. One. It was, was 1.6, you fucking morons. I said between right, moving, one and two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving on from that. Um, <laughs> did you did you hear about the drama between Pay Money Wubby and, and H3? I know Kaya hates drama, but... I'm actually going to duck out to take a leak. So feel free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did you hear about that one, Charlie? <laughs> no, I can't say I've heard that one, Jackson. What happened? Uh, so Pay Money Wubby, he's most famous recently for discovering the meme of the Angelic Initiative, which is those two uh, like loony women that keep keep worshiping the the sun or whatever. I don't know what they do. They like they they make videos worshiping, and they're just insane. Have you not seen that? I know what that is. Yeah, yeah. So so H three podcast or Ethan on the H three podcast started talking about it. And then Pay Money Wubby uh, had like a stream afterwards where he, he started getting really angry at Ethan for talking about it, claiming that he owns the, the the meme of the Angelic Initiative so no one else can make content out of it. And he didn't credit Pay Money Wubby for discovering it. So wait, back, what back up. What is, who's Pay Money Wubby? I've never heard YouTuber. that name before. He's like a streamer. Okay. Oh yeah, YouTube streamer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Ethan is from the HP podcast no nah, i mean i can't say i've heard of that but uh <laughs> that that seems a bit petty 
I mean, I discovered slapping, but you don't see me going around copyright striking anyone talking about slapping tournaments. See, that's what I think it's. I guess a you're bit not like, Disney. Uh, I think it's funny how YouTubers kind of try to claim memes as their own, and and then they fight for like fair use or whatever when they're stealing <laughs> yeah. content oh, from God. actual movies and ripping off from them. Wait, but is, then they're like, no, this is my meme. Ethan isn't going around suing works. people, is he? No, talking no, about no, the no. other guy, Pay Money Wubby is okay. apparently upset because Ethan found his uh, cash cow and okay. didn't credit him. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I thought that was just an interesting little scenario that's happening on the internet at the moment. I yeah. think it just like happened yesterday. Mm. But if you guys don't know about it, fine. We'll move on to whatever Kaya has. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not really sure whatever it is that I do have. I have a bunch of clips here, which... I titled them all shittily and I, I I must have clipped them when I was really dr sleepy and drunk. So I guess this will be a surprise to all of us. Uh, this is about the Misfits. This is a clip titled The Misfits Started the Podcast Idea. The Misfits started the podcast idea. The official podcast <laughs> just jumped on their bandwagon. Oh, fuck you. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> was that the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. Who is who is that? Uh, that was Kyle uh, recording himself to have <laughs> topics to talk about. Yeah, it sounded like a Xanax overdose. Yeah. Uh, this says Duck summarizes Mitzvah's callers. Let's see. Okay, so there's somebody oh, listen to this. <laughs> listen to this. There's somebody that listens to the official podcast, mm -hmm. took the time to call Who's Right podcast to tell the official podcast that they don't know anything about the Who's Right podcast and that the official podcast <laughs> stole their idea from, from the, Misfits. the Misfits podcast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that tickled my fancy. So, yeah, this guy called in and said that we were stealing the podcasting idea from the Misfits. Listen, buddy, the Misfits aren't even like, what, 45 episodes into their show. We are at... Yeah, but they thought 31. of it. They thought of it three years ago. <laughs> yeah, and plus we weren't even the, we weren't the we weren't the we're not trying to claim that we invented podcasts. Podcasts yeah, have been are. around for like oh, okay, never mind. We invented it. No, we yeah. we are. We are literally the official podcast. Everything else is an imitation. A joke. It's trademarked. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, um, a copyright. Fuck me. Now, now that I played that, I remember. Like I saw a post on the on our Reddit earlier today where somebody, I guess, got the idea that we were being serious about this. I feel like such a schmuck for having to explain a joke. Like this feels like having to explain a knock knock joke. No, we're not actually angry at the Misfits boys. Jesus fucking Christ, it's a gag. Um, you guys heard Doug there say that. I guess I should set set the stage a little better. Doug and Anthony on the Who's Right podcast, whose voicemail we've been kind of sort of raping. They got a lot of calls from our fans. Now a lot of these fans are very very young, as you're about to hear. But a lot of them also just really kind of sort of mean because they keep bringing up how they could not fucking care less about their podcast. So I'm trying to look up that oh. compilation. Uh, stall, stall, hurry. So Jackson, about that porn game. No, I'm not talking about the porn game. I've talked about it too much. I'd like, I'd like to separate the man from the porn game and not, <laughs> not have my name tied to it now. <laughs> I like to see where the fuck. I've really thought about it. Put this motherfucking clip. Disney's okay, I think this me. is it. So this is just a compilation of our fans calling into the Who's Right podcast, telling them they don't care about the Who's Right podcast. I'm so sorry. I don't really know anything about your show. Uh, I don't really yeah. care about your podcast at all. <laughs> I want to talk about the official wow. podcast. I'm here from the official podcast. I don't really know about your podcast and I don't care. And I actually <laughs> don't know what podcast I'm oh calling into, but was told by the boys over at the official podcast to use you as their voicemail. I was listening to uh, <laughs> not your podcast, but the official podcast. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about this podcast. I just care about the official voice, but... Uh... I don't really give a shit about the who's all these podcast people. I'm here to be a fish boy. Wow. I don't really care about your show, Doug. Hey, uh, just some random guy here uh don't listen to your shitty podcast i'm sure it's not that oh, great that's me most aren't hey this yeah. is for the official podcast no offense but i've never listened to your podcast none taken sure great hello i don't know your podcast uh, i don't give a shit uh, i'm just messages for the uh, official podcast boys i'm still not going to listen to your guys' goddamn fucking co uh, podcast <laughs> that guy was so mad 
He was very mad. <laughs> he was very mad. <laughs> God, that's so that's so oh. rude. There's only one good one there that seemed like in good spirits. The one yeah. that said I was listening to not your podcast. Look, look uh. Uh, guys, if you're gonna do this, you can admit that you're there for us. That's fine, but don't insult their show if you haven't listened to yeah. it. Don't call it shit if you've never heard an episode. That's I just don't blame mean. these guys. I I would imagine that. Of course, it's a joke, but you don't. You kind of sometimes you forget that a hundred different people are also gonna call in doing the same joke, and at some point, after listening to literally dozens of these of people calling Duck Fat Anthony's mom a cunt, somebody called and call, <laughs> called his mom the N word like twenty seven times, and uh, kept repeating how they don't care about their show. What does Doug Are think? Their spirits about, broken. What does Doug think about well, this? Are they like, coping with it? Yeah, they're, I'm gonna get to that. They're being real good sports. I'm, I'm not because I don't. What, what was I thinking? Naming these? What is fuck this? Fuck him. Dot wave. <clears throat> and I actually don't know what podcast I'm calling into, but was told by the boys over at the official <laughs> podcast to use you as their voicemail. So if you could play this on your show so they hear it, I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, Jackson, Andrew, Charlie, Kaya, thank you for the podcast. I started listening oh. back in September with episode one. I've been trying to catch up all year, and I just did recently. You've made 128 hours worth of homework. Oh, fuck classes. this. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you so angry? God damn it. You've made 128 hours worth of homework. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's Doug getting irritated at our fans who... Over the so they put out these videos that are an hour long of them listening to our fans call in and in the second episode they put out a second video our listeners for some reason just increasingly got younger and younger the ones calling in i have five different clips labeled literal 12 year old so we're gonna get to those uh how would you feel if our fans were 12 is it illegal to oh yeah i should i guess mention so Doug and- is it illegal to have 12 year old fans <laughs> no so i should mention oh doug and anthony on the who's right podcast i guess they have a sponsor called the flattest flute which is a butt plug that is also whistle so we can fart into it and it'll make a sound <laughs> and they've been toying with- it sounds like doug just made it or something Wait, why don't they sponsor <laughs> us yeah i, I don't <laughs> know i don't know these guys Wait, have some dope sponsors so they have the butt plug that whistles and they also have a uh, spunk lube which is this lube that looks like cum well, how come we can't get a sexual sponsorship to save our lives what the hell man come on spunk lube reach <laughs> out we'll sell your a shit farting have that 12 year old audience um it's so awesome. yes they have that so if you want to win a whistling butt plug you can call into the who's right <laughs> podcast and if you leave a funny enough message uh so this is stop being so goddamn rude jesus fucking edgelords calling in <laughs> all right yeah be nice spread our message with positivity oh this guy doesn't have any idea what's going on so this is he's asking why i would pay these guys anyway i just jesus. wanted to call in because i heard kaya from the official boys talking about you guys I just wanted to let Kaya know he's a fucking dumbass for paying you guys for this shit. The Doug Suicide episode, you guys really that for free. So, that's all I wanted to say. Keep up your train wreck of a podcast, boys. I enjoy it. Okay, I don't pay them, dummy. That's an- I just not found a 12 year old, that's Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I think that was a mom. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, there's so many of them that it's it's kind of it got disheartening. So I I saw their video and I got immediately I got the shit eating grin on my face. Right, I logged onto YouTube. I I started smiling from ear to ear. Like, oh boy, this is gonna be good. Like I'm rubbing my hands together, going, oh fuck, these two forty year old dads are gonna be so pissed off and our fans memeing about shit they don't get. And by the end of it, I started to lose my smile because I started to get embarrassed by the caliber of callers <laughs> they were getting because it started okay let, let's just get over it uh where is literal 12 year old here this is one of our fans hey who's right podcast um i was just wondering if you guys got the uh, voicemails from last episode's official podcast uh, and if, if, if you haven't just send them to uh, kaya are you okay. fucking kidding me? Um, Is he your messenger guy? <laughs> so, so now we've got 12 year olds telling us how to run our fucking show? What the fuck? <laughs> that's not any 12 year old. That's Kaya's right hand man. <laughs> yeah, damn it. His that's collections our army. officer. Uh, yeah. 
wait, what is this? Did I play this one? Hang on. What the fuck? Hey. hey. It's your boy. That's all I'm telling you. That's a girl. He's fucking 12. <laughs> is it even legal for us to listen to this? <laughs> I ain't going to jail for this shit. <laughs> hear from the official podcast i don't really know about your podcast and i don't care but uh <laughs> yeah just, uh yeah the official boys are where it's at so like oh we where, are where yeah, what's big pee pee what he can't even say cocky he said pee pee <laughs> <laughs> i wonder if his mom was listening <laughs> what the fuck man mom i need your credit card number for this god damn it if you're gonna call in on our behalf at least don't use the word big pee pee you're embarrassing us. <laughs> God damn if it. you're going to call in and, and you don't have like an intimidating voice, get someone that does. <laughs> yeah, get go on Fiverr. Uh, kids out there listening, if you are in fact a child and you're going to call in, get your dad to call in for you instead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get his real oh, yeah. manly, gruff voice to say things. Well, that's I'm gonna Colonel be like, Hank Sanders, yeah, retired the, veteran. Get the fuck out I of here, I don't know what kid. kind of, I don't know what kind of sissy shit my son's listening to on the <laughs> internet, but I was told to call in. <laughs> Um, It'd be cool if they put on like a real deep fake voice though, like they're trying yeah. to get into a theater or something. Oh man, like, like, like to hear oh man, I would love for an army of children that listens to our show to call in like it, they're calling into their school when they're sick. Like, hello, this is Jonathan's mother. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be in school today. I love the official podcast. I would love pee -pee. That. <laughs> Big pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is t this is Tyler's father. He just wanted to say "big boy swears" like penis, and fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, I think this is the last one. Oh no, it isn't. Of course not. I'm fucking optimistic. Well, here's another twelve year old. You need to do an episode where we're all just sort of bathing in milk. In milk. Bathe yourselves in milk. It needs to happen. I demand the milk. Okay. <laughs> well, Is that the uh, same one that asked if they wanted to have eggplants for dinner or whatever? God, if you don't bathe yourselves in milk, I will force feed you dairy. God. <laughs> There's somebody in the background that says, I need to talk to you. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. The joke isn't supposed to be on us. Fuck. They're the ones yeah, who are supposed yeah, to look right, dumb, yeah, that, and instead we're getting embarrassed that, instead of in front of these guys. I wanted these guys to just get angrier and angrier as the episode progresses instead of start laughing at us in the audience. Damn it. Yeah, now, that now, made me very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, now, now we're the laughing stock. You could hide in the voicemail segment. <laughs> we're yeah, done here. <laughs> close it down. You're doing, you're doing too much damage to the show. Yeah, close Pandora's box. You Yikes. Could, you could hear the little giggle in his voice too, like, I, I want you to bathe in milk. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, this is the last one, I think. Whole mood, uh, but my name's uh, Jordan. Um, I got this number from the official podcast. Um, I'm from Lafayette, Indiana. Um, so Next, I can't fucking take it. <laughs> Fuck, this is horrible. <laughs> Fuck. Where did we get all these? Yeah, who gave you phones? It's cool if you're listening, but fuck, stop calling random numbers you don't know you got there. I mean, that just huh? That just sounded like a woman to me. That didn't yeah, sound that like didn't, a that didn't sound child. like a kid. That definitely sounded who's like giving a woman. Them women, who's giving women phones? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that fits sound like a child there. Um, so one of them, I don't, I don't know if it's don't Doug or Anthony. Say. I didn't label this because I'm lazy, but I want to mask the question here. Do you think that the, these official podcast guys, do you think that they purposefully reach out to 12 year olds? I mean, is that I, <laughs> are you talking about on the show or just in private or what? <laughs> yes. I, I, did, I mean, do you think that they target their show towards these kind of people or is this just the kind of people that flock to that kind of show no damn it are we this, see this is what floored my confidence as i'm watching this i'm getting these <laughs> midlife crisis my my all the confidence i had in this show is getting destroyed i'm going oh fuck fuck are we is the <laughs> shit i think it's just the nature of the internet like uh best Gore yeah. has a lot of children that use it because you know edgy stuff like mm -hmm. it's you know, no matter edgy. what who's right there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing we can do at the end of the day to stop kids from listening to the show, period. Any audience on YouTube is going to have a subsection that are kids and they're yeah. probably you know, going here. to be the ones that enjoy 
calling up on our bar. Kaya, Kaya, you set up a voicemail, right? Have the Who's yeah. Right podcast listeners call that and let's see who they, who they get. Oh. Well, they, they get no calls. I mean, that's the problem. <laughs> oh. I mean, uh, think of it this way. What are you expecting from our show? I mean, we talk about masturbating and poop and all that, and you get, I guarantee there's a huge <laughs> subsect of kids that go, oh. just ripped ass. <laughs> That, I mean that's fair, right? I mean I do fart into yeah. the mic on the on our streams exactly. during E3, and, 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 and I really guess I'm gonna have to eat some really spicy chili before E3 this week just so I can keep up the tradition. That's fair. And you really don't think that we have a whole legion of children listening to us going, "Whoa, they're so funny." They talk about doo doo winkies. <laughs> I know, no, but see, I know our audience is on the younger side. I mean, obviously they're younger than I am because I'm graying and dying. That's cool. I just thought it was more in the range of. Let's say 16 to 20-ish, right? Which is good. Nice. I, I'm sure that's where most of our audience is. Yeah. That's 100% where most of that it is. That is the bulk, yes. But for some reason, out of, I don't know, sheer luck, the universe, all the stars aligned and they embarrassed us in front of these two boomers. <laughs> so also I should mention, you guys know how we called them and the phone rings before you get to the voicemail. Apparently, I don't know what the fuck Doug did, I guess, with his technologically clueless ass, but every time somebody calls, I think his phone actually vibrates for as long <laughs> as somebody is calling. So he's been getting so many fucking calls from these little 12-year-olds. Um. Okay, what else we got? I don't know what... I. This guy... Uh, are you sure this guy doesn't absolutely hate you? You've like taken over his <laughs> podcast. You've started calling in death threats at his work. Wait, what? Uh, are you no, sure that's that Carl. He, he doesn't? You're confusing. Carl. You're confusing people. I'm trolling now. Yeah, that's Carl from Who Are These Podcasts. This is Doug yeah, and Anthony from the Who's Right Podcasts. Oh right, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought. Oh, okay. I thought you called in to Doug at his work. No, no, that was Carl. I mean, if I did have his number i would call doc right. too but uh uh fuck what, what was it oh yeah I, I guess uh last time we had these voicemails somebody asked if people would jump off a bridge for us this is just that yes and fucking kaya told me to um jump off of a safe bridge into water how fucking yeah i would good official army represents yeah. kaya Fine. you wanted yeah. Kaya, you wanted your scandal and your drama? Give your blessing right now to anyone out there who wants to jump <laughs> off a bridge for us. Do it. You fucking won't. Well, that's, yeah, that's a little far. That's not the drama we need. That's him going to jail. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I wanted his scandal. <laughs> Is it illegal? Yeah. It's 100% uh, illegal. Yeah. You inciting, can't, yeah. yeah. Inciting damage is illegal. Yeah. yeah. It's. Oh, yeah. There was this one girl who just got. Uh, you guys remember yeah. the chick who texted her boyfriend to commit suicide in mm -hmm. his yeah, car, yeah, yeah. and I, I guess she got a couple of years in jail now. It, yeah. well, he he messaged her saying he was like feeling suicidal or whatever, and she replied saying, oh, "You should just do it." Yeah, yeah. She was egging. Oh, him she on. went on and on and on. You're yeah. right. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Um, but it was it well, was Kaya, like a long You want your drama? This is the way in. I, I want drama, not jail time. The getting butt fucked by <laughs> Bubba. What makes better drama than someone getting arrested? <laughs> no. The drama that doesn't cost the whole show. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not. Uh, well, hey, ooh, you get your one phone call every week. You could just call into the show. <laughs> yeah, I'll call Doug. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, Doug, it's Kai in prison again. <laughs> just <laughs> really hoping you'll, you'll get bail me out. Me. Yeah, hoping you'll bail me out. Or would it be the milk? Then we'll play the, the voice clip on this show. Uh, <laughs> Bubba makes me bathe in milk. Uh, <laughs> no. God, come on, represent us better. Doug right here sees through the ruse. So here's why they are smarter than us. They know that they don't want to listen to this shit. <laughs> so <laughs> as a they bit, up on us. Oh, as a bit, they yeah, they after us, it'll be somebody else. Uh-huh. <laughs> This is fucking horrible. <laughs> how, how would you feel if you were making, what are they making, $12,000 a month? And it was from these fucking jackholes. <laughs> I feel pretty good about that. Bathe yourself in milk. <laughs> oh, this is the, the, the resentment. That milk kid's got what he wants, though. Yeah, that, yeah. Milk kid, that kid. Yeah, he's got his he's weight in worth in milk. Oh, if anything, Doug is. It's like Doug is so right though. Minecon. After after the Who's Right podcast, it's, we're mm. gonna be doing somebody else <laughs> real dirty. I really, 
I think we should do Opie for sure. Oh, no oh, one deserves yeah. like actual. Me- yeah, no one deserves yeah. mean words the, more than that guy. The make problem him is next. with Opie, make I thought next. about that, but he he really curates his voicemails and he doesn't have a sense of humor and also he fakes his voicemails charlie like he has his friends calling to the show going like yeah so the op radio podcast is the best podcast out there if you want to listen to him go to itunes blah 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 so he just pays actors to call him uh call in i don't think Mm -hmm. he would play our voicemails I think we should still give it a shot even if he doesn't play them he'd have to listen to them right yeah but it's not as funny if we don't get to hear it yeah i know so I don't know. We Still. might give it a shot at some points. We might not. I don't know. OP, <laughs> that would be awesome, though. Stop uh, being so rude to Doug and Anthony. They're fucking awesome, man. Yeah, they're uh, dude, they have boys. a good yeah. sense of humor about all these children yeah. calling in. Uh, this is a clip called The Angrier Doug Gets the Better. My opinion doesn't matter, right? It's irrelevant. No, I think the, the more angry you get, the better it is for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> then we're going to get... We're, we're going to get more calls the more angry you get. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, I, I forgot to mention, when he brought up our Patreon at 12,000, we are almost at 3,000 patrons. So thank you to everybody. Wow. Nice. If you want to listen to us, you can still yeah. go to yeah. uh, official.man slash subscribe. <laughs> Give us at even 20, more money. 20,000, we'll bathe ourselves in milk. <laughs> Ow. You know what? I'll do, do the ice milk challenge where I douse milk on my head if you if we get past thirteen thousand a month um we are past thirteen thousand a month <laughs> you, no. <set> the bar <laughs> <low>. <laughs> you just want to bathe in milk you fucking weirdo not yet <laughs> patreon started its billing cycle which always makes everybody bail so we're kind of we dipped as we do every month but i'm hoping we can shoot back up well, um don't you want to do you want to aim a bit higher than like four hundred dollars <laughs> away from what we are i don't think i'm as I'm worth as much as you are for sucking dick at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, Jackson. I, yeah, but at least we get like fifteen thousand. Not, <laughs> yeah, not something that we can find. Fifteen thousand. I'll. Week. I will. Who the fuck wants photos of me in milk? What? <laughs> Probably a lot of people. Year old kid does. Yeah. I will, yeah, Kaya, <laughs> send it to him in private. <laughs> if, no, <laughs> fuck, fuck off. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll save. I, I guess I'll save part two. I, I feel like they're not gonna make a video anymore if they decide not to kill themselves or end their own lives. So we could continue this uh, next week or on a bonus episode if you want to sign up for bonus episodes. We can do that. Uh, we talked about removing the advertising in our episodes if you sign up for our Patreon. So that's a new perk. Right, if you want to plug mm-hmm. that shit, if you want to bring this to it down. Did you guys want to do the things you like as a as an outro? Let's do the video game. Uh, let's do the video. Uh, what, what is it? The game game corner thing where we play Andrew's guessing thing. My guessing thing. Whatever it is. Yeah. All right, here it is. Everybody ready? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Ah, what is this? No idea. I Jet Set Radio? Radio? I don't King of the Hill? Yeah, Jackson got uh, it. No, oh, okay. Fuck yes! King of the Hill theme. Wow. I, I, I I'm am throwing you some real <laughs> softballs here, guys. I'm <laughs> surprised. Right. <laughs> I never listened to the show, so... I didn't remember the theme that well, but I did watch when I was younger. Couldn't appreciate I, it. Was it was super familiar. Like, it's such a recognizable <laughs> song. And I haven't even I haven't even watched King of the Hill that much. I mean, even the intro online, like with YouTube poops and all that shit, you hear it everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> YouTube poops. Oh yeah, I, I love YouTube poops. There's some really good ones out there. What the fuck there is a YouTube poop? Yeah, that's true. It's we've been over this on the show before. Yeah, we have. We had YouTube like Mountain Dew. Uh, what was his name? Mountain Dew. Uh, Mountain yeah, Dew. Phil. He does YouTube poops. Yeah, yeah. A lot. Of, we've had guests on here that primarily do youtube poops yeah a youtube poop it's just like shit it's basically you take a source Am I like mis- a cu- hearing this are you saying clips because i'm hearing poops i don't think i've heard that yeah before. they're called youtube poops you you take you take a source like a tv show or a cartoon like fresh prince or king of the hill or steven universe or what the fuck ever and you re-edit the episode to be like like basically kind of just nonsense but with jokes and some of them, some of them, not all, a lot of them are bad. Most of them are bad, but some of them are amazing. Some of them are just really good. King of the Hill is one of the biggest YouTube pooped things there is. 
So it's like everywhere on the internet. As well. Basically okay. in the like er, early 2010s, it was everywhere on the internet is what I'm saying. And yeah, the show itself is also great. Alrighty. As we wrap up here, let's announce that we're streaming E3. When does this come out? <clears throat> it, early so enough. This comes out on the 7th. Yeah. Yeah. So th- yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be streaming on Twitch uh, the E3 conferences, whatever conferences still remain. I think it's Microsoft, Bethesda, uh, is that it? That's not pretty it. much. Ubisoft, that's they're, they're, Square Enix. They're doing one. Square, Enix. yeah. Whatever conferences are on, like the main E3 uh, days, we'll be streaming them. So if you want to head o- on over to Twitch, uh, we'll be co-streaming. Me, Andrew, and Charlie. Kai doesn't have a channel, so he won't be, but he will be joining us. Uh, I don't so need yeah, your you can shekels. come to us, and we'll make fun of we'll make fun of E3 together. It'll be fun. So yeah, that's uh, that's 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 moist critical. Hugbees TV and Zealot on PC on Twitch will all probably be hosting each other and squad streaming. So pick one. <laughs> mm-hmm. With the Mountain but, Dew, yeah. and RGB chairs, squad screaming. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alrighty, that's it for this week. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. We still Thanks, have like, everyone. <laughs> we still have like 20 voicemails. <laughs> stay, we'll get to it eventually. Yeah. Stay tuned for next week. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. See you, everyone. <laughs> Bye-bye.